All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the semifinal edition of the 2A state tournament. Round Valley is hosting uh, Wilcox. They're doing the introductions now. Guys, it is just warm enough to where we're having a little bit of fits with our cameras, so bear with us as we try to keep things up and going. It's starting to cool off nicely as they do the player introductions for Wilcox right now. They will be batting first as the visiting team. Round Valley will be in the field first as we are the higher seat, so we are the home team. So getting ready for the introductions now. Looks like their AIA's equipment's going dead, so I'll be able to tell you what's going on. So at pitcher, we've got Kyrie Walker. Catcher, Ana Areola. First base, Tay Walker. Second base, Shiloh McCall. Shortstop, Kayla Logan. Third base, Allison Muth. Left field, Emily Muth. Center field will be Merrick Newby. And right field will be Macy Sodaquist. That will be your starting lineup batting for Kyrie Walker today as the designated player will be uh, Montana Westbrook. So Kyrie will get the start defensively in the circle. Westbrook will be hitting for her as uh, we get ready for today's game. So as they do the introductions, guys, kind of an interesting thing here. We've got a powerhouse in the 2A North playing one of the powerhouses from the 2A South. Wow. Line drive Logan now coming out to greet the umpires. Ana Areola, the catcher, coming out to greet the umpires. Third base, Allison Muth. Now coming out to Allison Muth, third baseman for Round Valley. First base, number 20, Taylin Walker. First baseman, senior, Taylin Walker. Batting seven. Center fielder, number six, Merrick Newby. Senior center fielder, Merrick Newby, coming out. Playing right field, number three, Macy Soderquist. Right fielder, Macy Soderquist, coming out. Number 12, the DP, Montana Westbrook. And now here comes Montana Westbrook, BT, or she's batting D as a designated player for Round Valley as she's hitting for Kyrie Walker, the pitcher. So now we got Brindley Hawes, Jalen Mar Jalen Marble, Jalen Wright, Ticey Walker, Brindley Hawes, and Sky Peralta. Stand by for the national anthem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the national anthem. That only means one thing. Your you better be settled in with your popcorn and drinks. Sit back, Brian relax, and let's watch some Wilson. softball. And I'm back finally, Dan. <laughs> 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 Lily running Jolie. around frantic, trying to get our technical Jolie. issues Jolie. taken care of as we struggle. You know, and it's always and the it's last not minute, us. right? It's not us this time, at least. Well, it kind of it started. It with started, a yeah. <laughs> I mean, we kind of got things going with the camera. So Round Valley now taking the field. You know, I'm going to turn that down just a tad. 
if if it gets too loud right there. <laughs> yeah. Joel will tell us, I'm sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like Dan said, welcome to tonight today's broadcast. We're excited to have you here. Hopefully those of you joining us were able to hear of the time change. Got a little bit more information on that from Coach Emerald this morning. If we would have went at 7 o'clock tonight, we would have been out in you-know-where, filled 5 and 6. Yeah. But Benson plays right here after us. Correct. It's 7 o'clock. Mm-hmm. So if you are watching, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified of all notifications of live events from Let's Go Elks. Also like and share so that your friends can join us as well. Thank you to those sponsors as you were rolled across the screen when we first started. Without you, we wouldn't be able to be here doing what we're doing and sharing these games with you. So thank your sponsors if you see them around and about in town. And the throwdown has occurred, so that means one thing, Dan. So who's this now behind us with the off. radar gun? Four Wilcox. Short stop, right here in the three, Diamondbacks, Diamondbacks jersey, yeah. Not sure. Probably a Benson coach. <laughs> All right. So to lead off, Wilcox will be number three, Jaslyn Felix, who is the shortstop. Dan, did you tell us everybody that was playing defensively? Yes, I did. Awesome. Thank you. Jaslyn Felix, in their roster, it's all red. They must have changed jerseys like we did. Uh, well, it is what it is. Number three. Number three we'll, it is. We'll just go with the numbers. I don't. Well, I have the lineup, so I'll just go off with the names on hearsay. How's yeah, that sound? I'm not really interested in scoring their game anyway. So, Kyrie with her first sign, and the pitch is on its way. Little low. Yeah, we are now at this part of the tournament where there's not going to be a lot of slop. It's going to be, it's pretty much going to be disciplined hitters against disciplined defense. That's going to be a strike on the inside corner for a 1-1 pit count. Yeah, love that Walker came right back at her with that inside pitch. Oh, nice breeze. Strike two, swinging. So, Dan, last game my chair broke. You broke your chair? I didn't. My dad was sitting in it, and the top part got a little. That's going to be in the air. That should be playable for Logan, and it is for out number one. Pop out to the shortstop for out number one. All right, that's going to bring up number two, Braxton Hammonds, who is the Braxton second baseman Hammonds. for Wilcox. Yeah, Wilcox is a hitting team. If you go to Max Preps or AIA 365 and look at their box scores and look at their stats, they are a hitting team. So I would say very comparable to Round Valley. Maybe. Strike one looking. If you look at their, if you look at their batting averages and stuff. Uh, pretty high, but I'm wondering if that isn't a function of how their games are scored. Uh, but regardless, they are a hitting team. That's a little high. 1-1 one, one count. And the pitch low. 2-1 count. The sign, the pitch, that's going to be a call, a uh, swinging strike, two, two, two count to the batter. And the pitch, that's going to be Bye -bye. out of play down the left field ba baseline. Count continues, two, two.
Well, the nice thing is the sun's only in one player's eyes this game, not in your entire <laughs> left side of the field. Yeah, Emily took me to the store and picked out some fielding glasses. Change up just a little low. That's going to be a full count. Full count, three and two, one out. Yeah, this is what Coach Collins used to call the daddy hack pitch right here. And here it comes. Foul ball. Foul ball is the call. Hit Three off the strikes. handle of the bat there. So here's the ne next pitch. It's going to be just a tad ball high four. for a walk. And that is going to bring up number 15, Jesse Gonzalez, the pitcher. Number 15, pitcher Jesse Gonzalez. So from what I hear, Wilcox likes to play the short game, Dan. Let's see how much they do that against us here tonight. Ball, Ball one. one in the dirt. Be a wall, babe. That's going to be in play in the gap between short and third. Emily Muth in to get that, single, holding the runner at the second. Runner second base. So it looks like we have a courtesy runner, number six, coming in to run for the pitcher, Gonzalez. It'll be a courtesy runner. And that's going to bring number eight, Allison number Wilson, Wilson, the catcher, up to bat. Allie Thompson, pitcher. Courtesy running for the pitcher. Now batting number eight, catcher Allison Wilson. All right, so one down here with two on. Strike one on the inside. Yeah, she wanted every bit of that. Throw back to second. She's in safe. No balls. One strike. One out. Inside. Two one count with one down. Runners on first and second. Two balls, one strike. That's going to be a nice hit out to left center. That's going to roll to the fence. That's going to bring one Two. around. No, the other one's going to be out. Nice relay by your Lady Elks. Merritt grabs that ball at the fence, throws it to Kayla. Kayla into Anna for out. Number two at the plate, only allowing one run to cross. Two put out for out number two. Yeah, so the eight six two generating the out coming in at home. So with two outs, Wilcox did score a run. Wilson is out on second base in scoring position as Larson comes up to bat. I believe that's correct. Larson. Number 14, Larson, the first baseman. We got two outs. Like Dan said, runner at second. <laughs> and Kyrie getting her sign. It's going to be just a tad low. Ball one. Number 14, first baseman, Brandy Larson. And just a tad high. 2-0 count. Ladies and gentlemen, where we are sitting, the sun is coming right in on us. If we happen to lose video at all, we will do our best to get it back up. Uh, strike swinging there, 2-1 count. We did, prior to game time, lose it a couple times because of the heat. We have relocated it, just so you're aware. We will watch and do our best here. Number 33, Allison Reed. 
And that's going to be foul. So a 2-2 count, two down, runner on second. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And the pitch hits the batter on a slow roller. Hit by pitch. Go down to first. All right, so number 14 at first base, number eight at second base, and number nine, Daly Eberhardt, center fielder up to bat. Daly Ebert. So two down, two on. First pitch of the batter. That's going to be a called strike one. Sorry, trying to make some adjustments here. <laughs> and strike two call, uh, swinging, sorry. Foul tip there. 0-2 oh, count to the batter. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners on. And foul. Foul ball. So I think, uh, well, in between innings, I'll give you my analysis of this top half. But I think I've identified a couple things already. There's a, it's going to, is it going to be foul? Yes, it is. I don't know. Have no view of that. Yeah, I would have had somebody not stood up <laughs> when I was trying to watch. Yes, sir. Yes, I am talking are. about you. <laughs> All right. Kyrie on the rubber. The pitch. Foul ball. So one, two count to the batter. Number nine. And the pitch is happening. And that's going to be a little blooper to Kayla. Not able to keep hold of it at short, so she is safe. Yeah, so the little popper to the popper line drive error to Logan. And that's going to bring up number five, Maylee Thompson, the third baseman with bases now, loaded, two down five, for Wilcox. Third baseman, Maylee Thompson. Inside corner, just a tad outside, or inside, sorry. Oh. And got the call. So she broke the plane. So the 1-1 one, one count to the batter. Took a second there. That's all right. Take your time. Make the right call. Nothing wrong with that. And that's going to be up. Shiloh moving back. Macy coming in. Macy with the catch for out number three, leaving three stranded here in the first. Yeah, that's going to get that may make a difference in this game later on today. Uh, so one thing I've noticed is when Wilcox is a hitting team, but they're very top heavy in their lineup. So that will play a factor in today's game. So now as we go into the bottom of one, we are going to lead off with McCall. So lineup for Round Valley, we have McCall, Emily Muth, Logan, Ariola, Allison Muth, Taylor Walker, Newbie, Sodaquist, and Westbrook in as the DP for today's competition. Oh, I like that. In the top half of the inning, one run, three hits. Well, you know, it's funny because if you notice, Coach Emerald's lineup only really changed during uh, the 
to a north stint of our schedule. Yes. And, you know, in all of our more difficult games, it has been this lineup. And I understand the rationale. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. The strongest defense on the field is when Kyrie's in the circle and Allison's at third. Um, However, equal to the task is when Allison's in the circle and Peralta goes to third. Second Um, baseman, Shiloh McCall. But keeping both keeping both Muth and Walker in on defense helps. And that's why the advantage is tilted that way on defense. All right, so Shiloh's taking her spot in the left side of the batter's box. And that is going to be right back at the third baseman for out number one. That will bring Emily Muth up to the plate. Number five, Emily Muth. Senior left fielder. Swing strike one. Nice swing there. Yeah, Muth being aggressive on that rise ball and just coming underneath it. And that's going to be hit into left field. It's going to drop in left field. Bounces past the left fielder. Emily's going to get a stand up double on that. With advancing to second on the error. And that's going to bring Logan, yeah, shortstop, into the box. Shortstop, Kayla Logan. So with the runner on second, line drive, Logan now settles into the plate. Strike one, swinging. Girls being aggressive, they're going to find that first strike. Pitcher coming after him with the rise ball. Same pitching sequence she used before. Change up. Change up, and that's going to be a pass ball, allowing Muth to advance Muth to advance third. To third base on the pass ball. So 1-1 one, one count to Logan, runner on uh, third base with one down. Here in the bottom of the first inning. That's going to be a pop fly in trouble in the infield. Pop up to the and shortstop. Caught by the shortstop. For the P6, we're out number two. Two down, runner on third. Ariola up to bat. Number 13. Anna Ariola, catcher. So if they watched any film on us at all, she's going to just keep coming at honor with rise balls. We'll see. On a watch, the first one there. Called strike. And then as soon as I say it, <laughs> it do it. You notice that? It changes it up. Oh, that was ugly. That's going to be foul. Foul ball. Foul ball off the end of the bat. <laughs> you didn't even hear anything on that contact. It was just, it sounded like a mush ball. It did. Balls, two strikes. So, oh, 2 count. One on third, two down. I mean, that was a good idea. Bunt down that line would have been a good idea. And that's going to be gone. Yeah! yeah two good. run, home run by Ariola on a 0-2 oh, count. For Ariola. Yeah, what a beautifully hit ball. A little bit of theatrics in the outfielder. She dives over the fence, but she <laughs> there was no way she was going to get to that. That a girl, sis! So Round Valley gets a run back and goes up by one now as Allison Muth comes up. Third baseman, Allison Muth. All right, so Allison 
stepping now. Better song. I can live with that one, Alley Girl. So Babe Muth stepping into the plate. Outside corner called strike one. Allison like, likes to give a look on that first pitch. I don't, you know, hey, go get him, kid. You know what, Dan? Just crossed my mind. What? Anna made a goal this year. And guess what? What? Was the score have 13 home runs? That was number 13. <laughs> well, she should have set her sights a little higher. A little we still higher. Have a I've lot got a couple soft... more games. Yeah, we still have a lot of softball to play. All right, so an 0-2 count to Allison here. Oh. And gets her with she a little bit of a swing. off speed. So at the end of the first inning, Wilcox, one run, two hits, two one error on 32 pitchers. <laughs> Round Valley with two runs, two hits, one error and 13 pitches. Due up is number 12, number 16, and number three. So, we're, we're so that will be, be eight, eight nine, nine one. one. With number twelve is Lane, the right fielder. Number thirteen is Bennett, the DP, and then back to the top of the lineup with Felix. So I want to thank everybody joining us tonight. Hey, if you get a chance, give our sponsors a little love. Uh, without them, without them, there'd be no us. So. Uh, if you get an opportunity, give those guys a little love. We'd appreciate that. A uh, lot of people in the <laughs> lot of people in the stands today. I don't think there's anybody left in Wilcox, is there? Of course, all the Round Valley folks are down <laughs> in the shade. We can't see them. <sighs> Couldn't ask for better weather. It's just south of 90 degrees right now. Just enough breeze to keep it comfortable. So, couldn't ask for better weather. I thought the reason we moved this game was so that we could have an announcer and a scorekeeper. Yes. So we moved the game and we still have no announcer. We do have a scorekeeper. <laughs> we have an announcer. Well, just I was here. I could have done it. I mean, you know, hey. Just say all right, like we said, number 12, Lane, the right fielder, up here in the top of the second inning. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Wilcox is scrappy. They're probably the southern version of Round Valley, or Round Valley is the northern version of Wilcox. A little inside, but on the corner, so called strike one. Kyrie now finding her groove. Little inside. 1-1. One, one. Coaches are begging the batter to wear it. <laughs> She's like, nope, that hurts. I'm not doing it. You wear it. And the pitch. So 2-1 count. Yeah, Kyrie just missing a little bit coming up in the zone on this batter for a 2-1 count. That one's going to be inside. just tad inside. So 3-1 count to number 12. Thank you to all of those watching the live stream with us today. We appreciate you tuning in. And that is going to be a strike call, uh, swinging there for a full count to the batter. Yeah, the Wilcox coached Grimison a little bit, basically trying to tell her she just swung at ball four. And that is Drop foul third. ball. Oh, was that a foul, foul ball? ball. <laughs> Got on on the inside of the thigh. I was like, pick it up, throw it. <laughs> well, I didn't, I can't hear it with the my headset. headset so on. Yeah, I, That's going to be pop up. Kyrie coming in on it. Makes the catch for out number one. It's got the distance. It doesn't make it to the pitcher's mound. Right. So now the uh, designated player, number 13, Bennett. So this should be their number nine batter. Correct. If game changer is correct. That's what I have on this hard copy, Dan. And see, no, her number is 13, but in Game Changer, it's 16. So the name's right, the number's wrong. Strike one, swinging. Right, 
you are watching with us today, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you'll be notified of all uh, live events by Let's Go Elks. Also, like and share so your friends can join us. That's going to be a little low. Nice block by the catcher. 1-1 one, one count. One down here in the top of the first inning. 2-1 game. Round Valley on top. Swinging strike. Two. One, two count. And that's going to be in play to Logan at Shore. Over to Tay Walker for out number two. So two down. Score 2-1 here in the top of the second inning. No one on. Back to the top of the lineup for Wilcox. Yes, ma'am. So her last at bat, she popped out to the shortstop, Logan. That's going to be... To Logan as well. Logan with the throw, and she's out. Three up, three down for your Lady Elks, able to finish the inning without anyone on base. We will head now into the bottom of the second inning. And Dan, if I'm right, Taylin Walker will lead us off. We've got Taylin Walker, Merrick Newby, Macy Sodaquist coming up to bat. All right, just checking some of those comments. Thanks for joining the stream. Billy Walker, Kellen Patterson, Elizabeth Kaufman. And Diana Elmer. So did you see Tuesday's article in the paper? We're the only mountain team left in the state, I in did. state competition I did. in softball right now. I guess they don't count Winslow as being on the mountain, but they were, you know, they are a member of the old 3A East, so it used to be that, you know, they kind of counted. But good luck to them. I guess they play Sabino in the state championship tomorrow. Right before our game, Dan. Oh, definitely going <laughs> to show up early and watch that. 3.30, I believe, is yeah. game time. Give the Bulldogs some love. They're still in our area. Uh, they had ver two very close games in the quarterfinals and the semifinals. Uh, quarterfinals game, they won on a walk-off. And semifinals, they were ahead 8-1. And other team came back, but they were able to hold on. Yeah, well... They're here. They're in the state championship, so good for them. I can't read that. What's that say? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm i doing everything I can. So, um, Taylor Walker coming up to bat. Wilcox getting settled in on defense here in the bottom of two where the minutes are taking hours. <laughs> I, I can't. I, I'm just. Wilcox pitcher getting settled on the mound. Here's the pitch. A little it's low. Little, yeah. All right, Lily. I'm count. A, yeah, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> no, you're good, Dan. Keep going. All right, the pitch is on its way. And that's going to be called strike. 1-1 one, one count to tail in. This gentleman behind the plate is familiar. Where have we seen? I know he did one of our games. He's done a couple of our games. I can't tell you the specific location. I think one of them was in Round Valley. I think it was. Foul tip to Tay, so one, two count now. Taylor Walker, senior salutatorian for Round Valley High School. And that's going to be a foul ball out of play. And first baseman for the Round Valley Oak softball team. I'm going to start doing that, the Round Valley <laughs> Oak softball team. You know, Dan, tears in my eyes yesterday as I watched these girls go, and I'm even getting choked up now talking about it. That is go, swinging go, go, strike. Go, 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 And Tay is on her way. It's going to be a make drop it. three, yes. and Tay Lynn makes it to first base. On the drop third strike. And that's going to bring Merrick up to bat with one on, no down. So safe at first on the pass ball. With Newbie coming up to bat. No outs, runner on first. Do not see that very often at this level. I think, and rightfully so, I'm sure there's a little bit of nerves going on on both sides. 
Bunt sign pull back for ball one. So what I was saying, these girls all got out of the van yesterday on the send-off and gave high five to all the elementary kids. I saw that on the video. So awesome. Those kids, I was there in the afternoon, were so excited. Swing strike one from Newbie, 1-1 one, one count. Hey, clear it out. Ooh, no, just sir. a tad low, but called strike. So one, two count. It only takes one, though, here in softball. Wow, that was below the catcher's knees. Foul oh. ball. Looking for Doombie to make the adjustment here with two strikes and two balls. And that's going to be a high pop fly. Second baseman underneath it. It could be trouble, and it is. Tay having to hurry, but the fielder is not able to pick up the ball. And that's going to advance. Tay not paying attention does not advance to third on that. So, so the three fielders just let the pop fly literally drop right in between them. So that's going to end up being a base hit for Tay there. No contact on gloves. And oh, that's going to bring – Oh, sorry, for newbie. And that's yeah. going to bring Macy up to bat. Macy, the right fielder for your Lady Elks. Macy's due. Macy with the bun attempt. Foul ball. Corners were in quick on that attempt. Yeah, they're basically going to concede second base. They're going to try to, they're going to try to double this off if she bunts with the, uh, with the three one. And foul ball. So o two count to Macy. Yeah, shortstop is playing. She's basically playing a second, third base. I mean, right. she's way over there. So with two strikes, now everybody goes back to their normal positions. Little high. One, two count for Macy. It's a good thought by Coach Emerald going to the short game, trying to change things up just a little bit. I like it. I like it a lot. And, and strike three. So that brings up Westbrook, who has been in this position many, 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 many times before. So Westbrook comes to the plate with one down. Runners on first and second. Westbrook is the DP for today's contest. A little late on that strike one swinging. Yeah, the, the pitcher's got a little bit more velocity than what we've seen in a while. Last time we saw this kind of pitching was... And that run. is going to be hit into right field. Caught by the right fielder and Tay not tagging up. So not able to advance on that. So pop fly Westbrook is out. And so that's going to be two down runners at first and second. That's going to bring McCall at the top of the lineup up to bat. Yeah, so. Foul ball. Well, Wilcox coach is telling his outfielders to play up. Don't let anything get behind them. And I, we'll see how that works out. Shiloh's due. Outside, nice side by Shiloh there, 1-1 one, one count. So with runners on second and first, Taylor Walker and Merrick Newby are out there on the bases looking for Shiloh to bring him in with two outs. And that's going to be strike. 
So, one, two, count. Little high, two, two, count. I didn't notice these parents put all of the softball sunflowers down the fence line. Oh, did you look at the back of the banners? I did. I saw the banners, our senior banners hanging on the back of our fence. And oh. Shiloh able to hold off on that, bringing the count full. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what I always think of that is when somebody's like slowly motioning to hit. So right here, two down, runners on first and second, full count. And Shiloh with the hit, foul, foul ball. ball. But that is exactly the hit we need in this situation. Take it down that left field line, hopefully all the way to the fence. To the fence, not past it. Yeah, to the fence. <laughs> that way she can keep going. Yes. Um, big gap uh, here from the line over to the actual fence which causes a lot of ground rule doubles. And Shiloh goes down, swinging, yeah. leaving two on here in the bottom of the second. So at the bottom of the second, Wilcox, no runs, no hits, no errors on 12 pitches. Round Valley, no runs, one hit, no errors on 24 pitches. So coming up for Wilcox is number two, number 15, and number eight. Second baseman, pitcher, and catcher. So as much as I hate close games, Dan, this is what it's supposed to be like in the semifinals. Oh, yeah. We are way beyond blowouts now. I was surprised that the Horizon Honors went the way it did, to be honest, because by the time you get to the quarterfinals, you know, you should be you should be just mainlining Maylox and Pepto Bismol if you're a softball parent, uh, because these games now should just should just basically tear your guts out. I know they do mine. I have been a wreck since last night. I hardly slept, just because, you know, we have been in this position with these girls ever since they were little girls, and <laughs> I just. I never get used to it. From Little League all the way through junior high, now through high school, I just, I never get used to it, ever. So. So number two up to bat, Hammonds. Dan, what'd she do last time around? Oh, I don't know. Last time you got mad at me for not asking, and this time you're not even ready to answer me. Why did it take <laughs> Shiloh out? That's gonna be a strike looking. Uh, She walked. Her last at bat. And foul ball. So 0 oh, 2 count to the first batter in the inning. And the pitch. That's going to be a high fly. Logan should be able to get to that at short. And she makes the play for out number one. Did you see how fast Newbie came up behind <laughs> her? Just yeah, everybody's to make sure. moving. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All yeah, right. But. Number 15, Gonzalez, the pitcher up to bat now with one down here in the top of three. Yeah, this was the single out to Emily that got two on setting up the score. She hit that little gapper past Logan. That's going to be up. Tay's coming in on it and yeah. makes the play at first for out number two. Sorry if you can hear me clapping in the background. <laughs> and that's going to bring up number eight, Wilson, the catcher. So this batter last at bat. This is the girl that hit the double All right. into, uh, into left center. So that first pitch was a ball, a little inside and low.
About the same spot. 2-0 count. And that's going to be on the outside corner for a called strike one. Two-one count now for the batter. Yeah, the other thing that you're not going to see a lot of in this game is you're not going to have a lot of batters with the opportunity to take pitches because both of these pitchers are very comparable, and they will come at you. So three-one count. Three one pitch here. Kyrie getting her sign. That's gonna be on the outside corner. Batter starts walking to first, and Blue says not so quick. Yeah. Full count. Yeah, the batter did not like that at all. She th she was gonna hustle down to first. And that's gonna be in play to Muth. Muth over to Walker. Tag with the tag. So yep. nice tag by Tay. Way to be on her toes there. The throw pulls her off the base just a little, but she's able to get the tag for out number three, leaving the score 2-1, heading into bottom of the third inning. And that's going to bring us up with uh, Emily Muth, Kayla Logan, and Anna Ariola. I'm going to see if I can help him out. <laughs> yeah, so great little play right there. Uh, this is probably one of the faster paced games I've seen in a while. Um, but you know, both teams are, both teams are doing very, very well defensively. Uh, this is going to go right down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Um, third inning is usually the breakout inning for Round Valley against pitchers. So we'll see what happens yes, yes. as we go into right. our two, three, four positions yes, yes. batting for Round Valley. As the AIA is trying to get their their loud their loudspeaker set up going, so having some mechanical and technical difficulties here. That's not working. Because if I hold it in, that's when I can hear you. As soon as I release it, there's no connection there. So the catcher's dressed. She was the last batter, so now they're dressed and ready to go. No, it's the actual volume button. When I push the volume button and hold it into place, it works. Oh, so there's a, there's a, volume. There's a volume button on the, on the far side. So that's going to bring up Emily Muth as Coach Brown heads down to first base. So just so everybody knows, if we're fortunate and move on, we'll be streaming audio only tomorrow in the state championship. If... And that's a huge if, if we're fortunate to make it. Emily is in the box. And that's going to be foul out of play. One of the Benson parents catching it. Yeah, Benson. <laughs> the next game behind us is Benson and Kingman, and they're both here watching. Rightfully so. I figured it would be a pretty packed game here. He Did he really call that a strike? He, he did. The look on Emily's face was priceless there. Well, it crossed her nose, so <laughs> don't know. Hey, it only takes one, though. O2 count to Emily. One, two count. Well, Emily do, normally doesn't bat well until she has two strikes anyway. Umpire's just helping her out. And that's going to be line drive. First baseman able to snag it yeah. for out number one. Uh, you know what? That's just good defense right there. <laughs> she was on her toes. She was on her toes. She made the play. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. First base, line out to first base. Line out to first base, round number one. 
Little low for Kayla. 1 0 count. Shockingly. And that's going to be a nice hard ground ball past the shortstop. Going to be a single for Logan. Yeah, hard ground ball single into left, almost to the fence. And that brings up Bam Bam Ariola, number 13 in your programs, number one in Lily's heart. Absolutely. <laughs> Ariola with the home run last inning. And that's going to be a pop-up, and second baseman moving out to it. Doesn't make the play. Had to try to catch it over her shoulder, and she reaches on an error. Yeah, that second baseman probably overplayed that. Should have left the, let the right fielder make the play. She had the better angle. But you know what? Really don't care because now we got two runners on with Allison up to bat. Who is number one in your heart? Who is? Well, I don't know. Half, right? You got to share them yeah, to make a full? <laughs> no, they're both number one. They share that. And that's going to be a line drive. Kayla able to drop it. She's digging. Ariola coming around to third. Muth yeah, safely <laughs> into second. Nice hit by Allison Muth scoring one, advancing all runners around. And that's going to call a timeout for the Wilcox coach yeah. call, coming to talk to his players here. He is not happy at all. Does not want to see his defense hanging on to the ball. Um, and Areola coming in to third on the throw. And, I mean, the shortstop had the ball. She could have <laughs> just flipped it to second base. Muth, uh, not, I'm going to say, built with her dad's foot speed. So, but I think they're afraid that the run would score if they threw that or attempt to score. Yeah, but they need outs. They need outs. They've they got one on the board. We got two on, and Tay Walker up to bat. Yeah, because the last thing they need is Tay Walker to put one out into the parking lot. Which she's due for. She's due, and th and that would be that would be huge. So let's see what Tay can do with this at bat here in the bottom of the third inning. Round Valley up 3-1. That will be out. a little outside. 1 0 count. So 1 0 to 1 0 to Walker. 3 1 ball game with uh, actually no outs. Ball one. Foul ball. 1 1 count. I said there was, well, I've got one out scored. One out. So we got a 1-1, one, 1-1-1 one, 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 one here in the bottom of three. Runner on second and third. Foul ball. Foul ball, strike two. Yeah, she, two she's going to leave that hanging, and, and Walker's going to punish her for it. I'm just, I'm feeling it. You can feel the tension building right now. Tay's seen that three or four times now, Dan. Yeah, I mean. Foul ball. So one, two, count, one out. Runners at second and third. Tay Walker in the batter's box. Three, one, Round Valley leading here in the bottom of the third. And that's gonna be high. Ariola does not advance with the ball hitting that fence and coming right back. <laughs> but boy, did Moose take a big old lead out there, huh? <laughs> She's laughing now, hitting herself in the helmet. <laughs> So, 2-2 two -two count to Walker. Pitcher getting the sign from the coach. And that is going to be change up, getting Tay off for out number two. It's going to bring Newbie up. Hang on, I got to do it. Hey, feel it, kid, feel it. Oh, as I did the Peter Brady crack there. Did you hear that? <laughs> I did see that. I did. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's going to be, that's going to uh, be drop, drop, drop. foul. foul. Ball. Dang, good placement. Ju just <laughs> foul there. 
Yeah, Newby going with their gut and jumping on that first pitch, and rightfully so. So, 0 1 count to Newby with two down, two on. 3 1 lead, Round Valley here in the bottom of the third inning. Okay, everybody gets their signal. Foul ball. ball. Swinging a little low at that one. So now she's got a battle up there with an 0-2 count. Yeah, the pitcher's got some room to play here, but I don't look for her to. I look for her to come straight at Newbie. Probably her signature rise ball. Nope. No, high fly ball right here at the third baseline and who popped up to the third baseman for out number caught three. by the third the baseman one run, yeah so hits. both teams one error, both teams two left on. leaving unrealized after runs so at the end of third Wilcox after the end of the third one. inning Wilcox Round varsity Valley softball three. zero runs zero hits zero errors on 10 pitches Round Valley Elks one run two hits one error on 17 pitches Due up is number 14, number 9, and number 5 for Wilcox. And here after the third inning, Wilcox has left three on and Round Valley four. Yeah, total, I mean, total runners left on. The, uh, the balance actually goes to Wilcox because at one point they left three on in the second. In the so, first, top of the, the first, first inning. That's right. So... <laughs> They've left, what, a total of seven? No, they've left three, and we've left four. Bottom of the second inning and the bottom of the third inning, we had two on both. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add theirs to my ours <laughs> and, and go with that because it, it, it sounds makes, better. <laughs> it makes for a sexier storyline. <laughs> All right, the throwdown has happened, and we have... Number eight, nope, number 14, Larson, the first baseman up to bat. First baseman, number 14, Brandy Larson. So Larson, her last at bat, she uh, got hit by a pitch on a full count. And that's going to be just a tad outside. So this is their fifth batter out of nine. I can't believe we're already at the fourth inning. I know. It's going quick. Oh, nice <laughs> job by that pitch, getting her to swing at that. 1-1 one, one count. One I'm sure Coach Emerald would love to get some more runs on the board, but you can also feel the sense of urgency on that first base side. Just a tad one, inside. 2-1 two. Two, count. Two balls, one strike. Batter moves closer to the front of the batter's box. And that's going to be... Ball Ask for help. Ask for help. She did not go. Wow. One strike. <laughs> wow. It's a great game. I wish everybody was watching it. 3-1 count now to the batter. And she's going to walk. So Coach Emerald calls a time, pulls his infield together for a little conversation. Next batter for Wilcox will be number nine, Ebert. So no changes defensively for Round Valley, just a little bit of a pep talk, give everybody a, hey, breathe and relax. We still got a lot of ball game left. Sure, Coach Emerald's looking for them to double this off and get these out. So here in the top of fourth, we got number nine batting for Wilcox with number 14 on first. That's going to be a dead ball. Hit the batter twice. So a 0-1 count. 
I'm a, I'm a little surprised we haven't seen more of that, Dan. I think we're going to start seeing more of it. I think that's just the beginning. The problem is, is that's on the in oh inside corner, but must be just a little out. <laughs> one one count. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! No. No. <laughs> no. Dang it! I thought, Dan. Yeah. Was it close? No <laughs> All right, that explains it. Two-one count. Like I said, it's a great game. I wish everybody was watching it. That's going to be played to Allison, and she drops it. Runner advances the second one, second base, and first so, for the batter. Yeah, ground ball error to Muth. So that's going to put two on with no outs. And number five, Thompson up to bat. Thompson flew out to Macy, her last at bat. Bunt. And she is out. out got her at nice one. Nice play. Two, four, put out. But they got her on the, so the sack bunt gets her there. For out number one, runners advance on to So the runners are at second and third with and one down. Number field. 12, Lane, the right Five, fielder. Who was that? Was that Kyrie to, or That no, was Anna, Anna to, to Shiloh. To Shiloh. And that's going to be a line drive to Shiloh. Double play. And that's yes. It. That is huge. That is highlight reel worthy. Wow. Line drive out to McCall. Holy crap. And, and the runner on second base starts digging for third but didn't tag. And McCall just runs <laughs> over and hits the bag, and that's it. And huge play for Lady Elks right there. Wil that was huge. Wilcox put two in scoring position but could not get him across. So now we're going to go into bottom of four. Going to the bottom of four, Wilcox one. So now we're going to be eight, nine, one in the batting order for Round Valley. That will be Sodaquist, uh, Westbrook, and Muth, Emily Muth. And while we're waiting for that, Dan, let's give some love to those sponsors. Thank you all for your sponsorship and for all your viewers today. We appreciate you tuning in with us. We have Dan Muth Land Surveying, modern technology for all your land surveying needs. Emerald Sanders Realty, call Jody today for a realtor that's been in the business since 2005. Farmers Insurance, Agent Troy Merrill, Hold'em Auto Glass and Life Insurance Offering. Stop by and visit his office today next to Shortstop. Lackey Rentals. Now in a new location next to Cowboy Up, contact them at 928-242-5705 and also can be found on Facebook. They include equipment rentals, including skid steers, mini excavators, dump trailers, car haulers, tractors, and equipment haulers. They are located and they in the Round Valley and they do deliver. McCall Hauling and Dirt Works, they specialize in new septic install and repair, gravel, dirt, pads, roads, and brush removal. Pioneer Title Agency. Taking the approach that's professional and not stuffy. They have a strong commitment to approach, uh, to service. And White Mountain Regional Medical Center, empowering a healthier community. They are expanding their ER soon, as well as um, they have new MRI, CT, nuclear medicine machines on site. So thank you to those sponsors. First pitch to Macy is a swinging strike one. I'm getting a lot of love for my comment. <laughs> thank you, guys. Appreciate that. <laughs> and foul. But foul ball. We have 179 people watching this game. Thank you all. Thank you all. This this team hopefully uh, comes home making Round Valley proud. I know I'm proud of them for where they've gotten this year. They're a fun team to watch. Yeah, but they're earning their have reputation as the cardiac kid, <laughs> to tell you that. Have left a huge impact on the community. So Macy goes down swinging. 
That is out number one. That's going to bring Westbrook up to bat. Designated player number 12, Montana Westbrook. So with one out, Montana Westbrook comes up. She had a great hit last time at bat, but just right to the right fielder. I, I mean, great defense, right? You can't right. Foul ball for strike number one. Foul ball, strike one. If anybody thought we were going to come into this game and it was going to be a blowout either way, you were sadly and sorely mistaken. Both of these teams are scrappy and they fight. This is going to go right down to the bottom of seven. Strike two to Westbrook. Westbrook is due. And the pitch, and that is... Oh! oh. No, no, no. That was over, but okay. Foul ball by Westbrook. Just getting another life here. If it hits in front of the bag... On the inside of the line, and then goes foul. Well, anyway, foul ball called on the field. Two strikes, one out. So Westbrook making contact. Let's see what she does here. And that's going to be a pop up to the third baseman coming in and makes the cradle catch. So two down here in the fourth inning. Three one, Round Valley leading. Now to the top of the line off lineup is Shiloh McCall. Yeah, McCall's definitely do been in a little bit of a slump. Would love for her to have a breakout game right here. Um, she is definitely due. And that's going to be low. 1-0 count. So interesting statistic. Pitch counts up around 62, which is also very comparable to what Kyrie threw in the last inning. And Shiloh's going to have a high fly ball. Center fielder coming in on it. Makes the play. Good. So three up, three down for Wilcox here in the bottom of the fourth inning. That's going to take us into top of five. Round Valley on top, 3-1. Yeah, so Wilcox with no runs, no hits, one error on 11 pitches. Round Valley with no runs, no hits, no errors on nine pitches. Due up is 16-3-2. So 16, 3, and 2 would be our ninth batter. And then back to the top of the lineup, 1 and 2. Yeah, so this leadoff batter grounded out to Kayla, her last at bat. And it looks like Kyrie is going to go ahead and get the start in the fifth inning. Typically, if Coach, er Coach Emerald was going to make the switch, he would do it in this inning. Let's see if he goes to, gives Kyrie all of five and makes a switch at top of six. I'm sure he doesn't want to burn out a pitcher on the potential victory because he'll need both of them tomorrow night. If he, So that's kind of a, <laughs> that's a tricky call for a coach to make. I'm not going to lie. All right, so number 13, Bennett, the designated player. Bennett did not go very deep in the count before she grounded out to Kayla, her last at bat. So let's see what uh, Walker offers her here. Little low, ball one. Ball one. Wilcox very deliberate in their batting, very disciplined hitters. Well coached team. As to why they're here. 1-1 one, one count. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be in the semifinals if you didn't have some coaching. The girls have talent, but they got to have coaching. So, 1-1 one, one count. And that's going to be foul. So 1-2. Yeah, Walker's staying ahead of her right now. And the pitch, foul ball. Batter staying in there. Yeah, batters are still trying to find that timing with Walker. 
as we still have a 1-2 count. Top of the fifth, 3-1 lead, Round Valley. Just a tad high. Yeah, missing with that rise ball just on the north end of the zone. 2-2 two, two count. Two balls, two strikes. Nope. Kyrie still ahead. Let's see what this pitch does. And that's going to be two Tay at first for a 3-3 action. And out, number one. And you know what? They don't all have to be strikeouts at the plate. Let's go ahead and use the whole defense. Might as well. They're there for a reason. And that's yeah. going to bring us number three, the leadoff three hitter, up. Felix. Leadoff batter, shortstop, number three, Jaslyn Felix. So let's see. Her last at bat, she popped out to the shortstop and then grounded out to the shortstop. So Kayla's pretty much handled her all day. And that's going to be just a tad inside, apparently, for a 1 0 count. If you could hear my sarcasm in that comment. A little bit. And that's going to be strike looking. 1 ball, 1, one, one count. One right, so 1 1 count here in the top of fifth. Wilcox looking to get runners on. 2-1 count. Do we have a score from the other field? Nope, but we just lost video, Dan, so if you'll keep talking, I'll work on that. All right, so Kyrie's, Kyrie gets in the circle. Here's the pitch. Inside pitch misses inside for ball three. 31's the count. And basically, Anna needing to make an adjustment here with Walker, so with 31, here's the pitch. There's a swing and a foul ball to the left side. So now we got a full count on this batter. Fairly productive batter for Wilcox, but has not seen much luck in today's game as she has grounded out and popped out. Pitch up in the zone, that will Walker. So with a runner on, and a runner up to bat, now this batting. last batter, baseman, she walked two, and then back. flew out to the shortstop. So it looks like we got video back, so nobody panic. We've got sun issues going straight into the camera, guys, so we're doing everything we can. Please be patient with us. Here's the windup in the pitch. And there it is inside. So there's this called strike inside. So it looks like the adjustment's been made or at least potentially has been made. Ball, up. Ball high. One and one on the batter with a runner on first and she's taking a suicide lead. I look for her to go on the next pitch. There's a grounder, it's gonna get past Muth and Kayla's not gonna be able to pick it up but that will hold the runners on second and first. So that'll be a fielding error on Muth. That'll bring up number 15, pitcher Jesse Gonzalez. So the pitcher Gonzalez back up. Two so runners on, one out. Top of the fifth inning here. Yeah, she uh, had a single to the ground ball and then popped out to Tay her last at bat. And that's gonna be in play, fair territory. Emily Muth coming home, not on target. Pulls Ariola off the plate. That's going to score one and advancing the runners to second and third. That'll be an RBI single advancing on to second and third base on the throw. And it looks like we may have a pitching change, and we will. So, Kyrie. Kyrie out. Allison on the mound, or on the, in the circle. So that, and that's going to bring Peralta in. Yeah, so that's going to sub in Peralta. Now the question is whether or not Peralta is going to hit or if Westbrook's going to remain as the DP. But that will definitely bring uh, that will definitely bring Peralta into third base. So we have number eight, Wilson, the catcher, due up with runners at second and third, one down. Mirror image of last inning. Touch it. 
Yeah, so with runners at <laughs> second and third, uh, how many times have we been here? One run ball game, Round Valley up three to two with one out. Wilson hit a grounder into left center and then grounded out to third base, her last at bat. Don't see that conversation. Was, was trying to see if I could tell what was going on. Coach Emerald with something in his back pocket. All right, so one down here, 3-2 lead Round Valley in the top of the fifth. Wilcox has runners at second and third base. Allison now in the circle. First pitch, just a tad low. First pitch, low, ball one. Now batting, catcher, number eight, Allison Wilson. Right, and the pitch, that's going to be right back. Oh, Allison able to get the ball, but throws it away to Peralta at third, and that's going to score two runs. Batter is at second. That'll be an error on the pitcher. Two-run error. There'll be a courtesy runner. For the catcher. Courtesy number runner out at second for the catcher. So, now number 14 in the box now, Larson, with one on, one out. Wilcox with the lead, 4-3 here in the top of five. Yeah, that that's, that's going to prove to hurt later. And that's going to be a ground ball to Shiloh. Shiloh over to Tay for out number two, advancing the runner over to third. And that's going to be number nine, Ebert, up to bat. So she grounded out and lined out to uh, the shortstop her last two at bats. Number nine, center fielder, Daly Ebert. So two outs on the field with... Number nine coming up to bat. Muth in the circle. Gets her sign. Pitches on its way. Strike one swinging. And that's going to be high fly ball. Kayla moving back. Merrick coming in. Kayla makes the play for out number three. So leaving one on is Wilcox as they take the lead here in the fifth inning, 4-3. We will be moving into the bottom of the fourth inning with Emily Muth, Kayla Logan, and Anna Ariola up to bat. Actually the fifth, but okay. What did I say? Fourth. <laughs> oh, sorry. Fifth no, inning. <laughs> so Wilcox... Wilcox taking the lead. Hopefully, Round Valley can answer with this at bat. You know they will not go down without a fight? No, that's why we call them the Cardiac Kids. They had a big comeback against Payson, had a big comeback against Northland Prep. They're definitely capable of it. One run deficit is not going to do it. They will. This is about the time when they should start to pick up on Wilcox's pitcher's timing and have a breakout inning. So... As we wait with bated breath for that to happen, might want to give some love to our sponsors.
So Emily Muth coming up to bat to lead us off here in the bottom of five. Now batting, left fielder, number five, Emily Muth. Yeah, senior left fielder, Emily, definitely playing like there is no tomorrow because she wants to play tomorrow. A lot of these seniors would are just doing everything they can to get to that game tomorrow. All right, so we have the sign. Outside. Ball one, outside. 1-0 count to Emily. Yeah, I'm glad Emily didn't jump on that outside pitches for the first time. This is the first at bat where she hasn't. Same pitch, same result, 2-0 count. Yeah, she's trying to pitch Emily outside, and for some reason, that's just not working out either way. And that's going to be a little blooper to shortstop, and she makes the play for out number one. Yeah, shortstop just making a play. We are sorry to our viewers that have to look at that sun glaring in. Give it a couple minutes, and it will be down behind those trees. Yeah, guys, just wrong field, wrong time of day. So Kayla Logan steps in. And that's going to be a pop-up. Third baseman comes in to make the catch. So two down here in the fifth. Now batting, number 13, catcher Anna Ariola. Outside corner called strike one. No balls, one strike, two outs. That's going to be foul. foul ball. Oh, two count. Oh, two count, two down, four, three. Wilcox on top here in the bottom of the five. Yeah, loving the amount of fight in both of these teams. Foul ball. Foul ball. Count remains, no balls, two strikes. So Gonzalez two is up. up around 70 pitches here in the bottom of the fifth. That's going to be low. Ball, Ball one, one, two count. Protect. Foul ball out of play. Foul ball. Yeah, Ariola making this pitcher go long at this at bat. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Outside, 2-2 two, two count. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. And that's going to be caught by shortstop. Good defense by the shortstop moving behind second to make that play. So we go into the top of the sixth inning with Wilcox ahead by one. Yeah, so Wilcox with three runs on two hits, one error, 21 pitches. Round Valley, no runs, no hits, no errors on 11 pitches. Coming up for Wilcox is number five, number 12, and number 16. Seven, eight, nine batters. So look for Round Valley to try to hold them here and then come back and get those bats working. Round Valley's bats have kind of gone cold since the second inning, and it's pretty much been a seesaw battle defensively up until the last inning when with a 
two error with an error throw on a ground ball hit to Allison, the pitcher. She throws to third base, but it's low, and Peralta couldn't get down on it. Rolls all the way to the fence and scores two runs. So that gives Wilcox the one run lead with Round Valley three here in the top of six, Wilcox four. And that's pretty much the recap, no? Why yes. is Blue making them switch balls? I, I don't know, because he wants to show everybody how smart he is. I, hard to say. Sorry, I, yes, that is the recap, what you said. But I was, uh, Allison says, no, I don't want it. He said, you got to take it anyway. And now he's going to let her switch back. I don't. <laughs> I don't understand. But hey, new pitcher, new ball. I, I, I. Uh -huh. There's a lot of things about now today. That <laughs> me. Third so five. the third baseman, number five, Thompson, up to bat now. So her last at bat, she uh, she had a sack bunt, got out by Ariola, throwing to first, and then flew out to the right fielder, Sodaquist, in her first at bat. Just a tad high, ball one. So now some life in the Wilcox dugout is now they are starting to believe they've got a position here. Round Valley now trying to trying to struggle back. Foul ball. Foul ball. One ball. One, one, one count. Like I said, both teams very scrappy. Neither one of them are going to give up. This is going to go down to the seventh inning. I can feel it in my bones. That's going to be in play to Logan. Logan over to Walker for Logan out number one. For out number one. That brings up number 12. Right number 12 fielder. laying the right fielder up to bat. With one down, Wilcox on top four, three here in the top of six. So she lined into a double play to the second baseman and then popped out to Shiloh at her first at bat, so. Foul ball, 0-1 oh, count. Foul ball for strike number one. Really want to take my sunglasses off, but I can't because I'm looking straight into the sun. Yeah, I saw that. That's going to be high out of play. Foul ball. Foul ball play. strike two. So 0 2 count to the second batter here. First batter was an out. No balls, two strikes. So one, one down. Out. No one on. 0 2 count. And that's going to be a little pop up to Shiloh at second for out number two. Yeah, I don't. She went to Shiloh last time Round too. Two. So, Both times. Yeah, actually. So back no to number That's nine, number thirteen, number 13 the DP Bennett. Bennett. Yeah, she grounded out her last at bat. Grounded out to first. Her first at bat, she uh, grounded into a six-three action with uh, Kayla to Taylor Walker. First pitch. Foul ball. Foul ball. 0-1 oh, count to no the balls. batter. One yeah, strike. strike one on the batter two with two outs here in the bottom or the top of six. Nobody wants to be in that position. Just a tad inside. 1-1 one, one count. One ball, one strike. Yeah, I can't see the score over there. I don't know what's going on. Is that Kingman Benson or no? No. That's after us. That's Lake Havasu, somebody. It's a 1-0 game, whoever they're playing. So ball two to the batter. Sorry, we'll get back to our game. 2-1 this, count. This is a good one in its own right. Uh, and that was a called strike. So 2-2 two, two count. 
Two out. Allison Muth, the baby in the Muth family. Here's the windup and the pitch. That's going to be let it go, let it go, let it go. Pick it up now. Foul ball. <laughs> yeah. Everybody just please let go foul. Please, please foul. don't don't pick it up yet. <laughs> so two two count two out here yes. in the top of six. Two 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 here in the top of six. Round Valley battling back from a run. And that's gonna be caught. Yes. Beautiful catch by Shiloh uh, McCall uh, diving. Yeah, line three. out, line out to McCall. Sorry, got a little excited on that. Wilcox. But a Go diving left. catch Go by left. McCall will retire the side. So now Round Valley's coming up Halfway with Allison Tay Wilcox. and Merrick Cowboys Newby. Four. Round Valley Elks three. So Round Valley looking to come back here in the bottom of six. Four three lead Wilcox. All right, Dan, I'm going to show some love to those sponsors for just a second. Please do, because I want to get a drink of water. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, going into the bottom of the six in what I think is an epic battle between two very good now softball Valley. teams. Round Valley down by a run with Allison Muth coming up to bat. Allison has not been very productive today, although she... Uh, Sorry, let me fix my mic. She struck out swinging the first at bat and then singled on a hard ground ball to the left fielder. No, we need this inning is just get on base, Dan. We, we need base runners if we need hits. Foul Walk, ball. Walks will work. Number one. This bat, uh, pitcher doesn't allow very many of those. No, she doesn't. Nice! That is gone! And Muth ties it up! Muth ties it up with a solo home run to center field. Pitcher left it high and Allison went after it. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back to an even ball game. Just like that. As soon as that left her bat, I knew it was gone, Dan. Just like that. It is a tie ball game. And that's going to bring Tay up to bat. Round Valley fans, if you have your rally caps, get them out. Get them on. Start smashing emojis. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Do whatever it is you got to do. But if you're at home watching this game, show these young ladies some love. And that's going to be outside for ball one. 1-0 one -oh count. Yeah, it's hard not to get excited after that. <laughs> not going to lie. As the bottom half of the order starts to show some life. And that's uh, going to be a ball ground to ball to, for Tay. And out number one at first base from the shortstop to one. And that's going to bring Newbie up to bat. Number six, center fielder Merrick Newby. Yeah, we've been saying all along newbies do, and I still believe that. Senior on the one of the se six seniors on this team. Yeah, senior center fielder. Newbie just needs to get back into feeling it. That's a little outside for ball one. Ball one. What am I smelling? What is that? It smells like a monster and something. Hmm. All right, so ball one to Newbie as I'm completely distracted. Squirrel. Oh, foul, foul tip. Foul ball, one. 
One one count with one out. Tied no runners. Out. Tied ball game. Did four apiece. Did you catch that up reference? Hi there. <laughs> Squirrel. All right, here Dan's we go. Dan's a little preoccupied today. No. Foul ball. I'm doing everything I can to keep my brain from freaking out, okay? <laughs> I am. I am doing everything I can to keep from freaking out right now. So one, two count to Merrick. And gets her on the changeup for out number two. And that is going to bring Jalen Wright into bat. Number three, right fielder, Macy Sodaquist. So being Jalen Wright. That will bring substitution, Jalen Wright. Pitch hitting, number 11, Jalen Wright. Now, just so everybody knows, and I'm not trying to put anything in anybody's head, but the last time we had a pinch hit situation in a ball game like this, we were in Payson. We were. We were. So let's see if we have a repeat, because that would be cool. So yeah. here we got two outs. <laughs> Jalen right up. Nobody on. Ball game's tied at four. Bottom of the sixth inning. Can't get any closer than this, Dan. I... We knew it. We knew it would be close coming into this game. Yeah, we did. This game's turning into a Maylock's run. Strike Mark. one, swinging. Swings at the outside, high pitch for strike number two. Just got to have a little nerves coming out of the dugout in this situation, Dan. Just a little bit. So two count. And gets her on a high rise for out number three. So Allison hits a home run here in the bottom of six to tie it up at four. And we are both teams. For the next game in the going up finals, Kingman Academy and Benson four moving over to field number so one. at the end of six again, Wilcox Benson, no runs we'll no hits no errors on 12 pitches one. round valley one run one hit and no errors on 11 six. pitches coming up is number three number two and number 15. No errors so tied at four tied going up, into the going seventh into inning, the both teams with three four. outs left. Yeah, kind of a do or die moment here for Wilcox. Wilcox will be starting with their leadoff, number three, Felix. Yeah, their stud shortstop, just gonna go ahead and say it. That girl can play some shortstop. So Macy does re-enter the game to right field. Sodaquist re-enters back into right field. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you for joining us. Thanks to our sponsors for all of your sponsorship through this season and continuing on. Here we are, where we've always wanted to be. 4-4 four, four game, semifinals, state playoffs in the seventh inning. And the crowd's getting loud out here now. First pitch of the inning is going to be hit to Shiloh at second. Shiloh over to Tay for out number one. And that's going to bring up number two. First baseman, second baseman, Braxton Hammonds. Let's see, her last at bat, she grounded out and flew out to the shortstop, Logan. And that's going to be foul. Oh, oh, one count. Did I ever tell you how nerve-wracking this is for a dad of a pitcher? I got a catcher right behind her. I feel the pain. <laughs> Freaking out just a little bit. Not going to lie. Here in the top of seven. A little high. One, one count. High for ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. 
So with a 1-1 count, let's see what Muth has to offer this batter. That's going to be a fly ball. Merrick underneath it. And she makes it for out number two. So the Round Valley defense really stepping up behind Muth with two outs. So pitcher number 15, Gonzalez, up to bat now with two down. Tied game here in the seventh. Yeah, and I tell you what, do not envy this batter at all. With two outs, what could be their last at bat. Foul ball, uh, strike one. Let's see what she did her last two. She had a ground ball to the left and then a pop fly to Walker. And the pitch. Ooh, Ooh. just a tad outside, 1-1 one, one count. Um, um. <laughs> Has the crowd. <laughs> And the pitch, foul ball, one, two count. Strike two, one ball, two strikes, two outs. So Wilcox right here down to their last strike. I'm sure they'd like to get at least one run before they retire the side. And that's going to be a high fly ball between, and Merrick's moving, Merrick's moving, and she makes the catch for out number three. So our Lady Elks go into the bottom of the seventh inning tied ball game. Montana Westbrook is going to lead us off and then back to the top of the lineup. So that'll Woo. bring up Westbrook, McCall, and Muth. We just need one, Dan. We just need one. All of you fans back at home, I hope you're hooting and hollering with the rest of us. Say some prayers for us. We got to move on right here and finish this game. Dan, I'm going to st stand up for just a second. Yeah, I probably should, but I ain't going to. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the dog fight we predicted. Going into tied 4-4 here in the bottom of seven. Round Valley looking for the, for the run that will produce a state championship. At worst, we go into top of eight. At best, we go to state. So if you're a Round Valley fan out there, get your snaps, get your rally cap, do whatever it is, go find your luck. You're lucky, whatever. I don't care if it's socks, underwear, shirt, bat, ball, glove, whatever it is, go get it. Go get it. Start rubbing it because right now, ladies and gentlemen, Round Valley has got three outs to score one run. Wilcox settling in. All right, Montana approaching the plate. Number nine hole hitter. Hey, remember, player, number 12, get your Montana timing. Westbrook. Montana Westbrook. Senior. Senior and definitely pays off big in clutch moments. Bunt. There's a bunt. And it's going to go past. And it's, she's going to make it to first base. Yes. yes. So Sorry for the excitement, but ladies and gentlemen, a beautiful bunt right past the pitcher. Number four, Holy cow. So now looking for some production. McCall is definitely due. Ladies and gentlemen, McCall is due. Do not put it past her. So we got the shift in the outfield. Yeah, they're going into a no double defense right now. Everybody playing deep. And that's going to be a called strike on the outside corner. Yeah, now it's a strike. Here we go. One strike, no balls. Runner on first. Out. Ball outside. One, one, ball. one count. One, one. No outs. One, one count to Shiloh. Catcher asking for help and not going to get Westbrook it. Westbrook at first. Seventh inning, tight ball game. No outs. 
foul ball. Foul ball for strike number two. One that ball, could be the strikes. pitch. <laughs> okay, so. One, two count. One, two count to the batter. Anything in the grass would put Westbrook in scoring position. Let's have some fun. Let's go. If it goes to the fence, Westbrook could make it in. <laughs> Coach Emerald breaking the tension a little bit. I think he's asking, hey, can I get a runner? Can you put a runner in for his DP? Yeah. Can you? Yeah, I imagine you could use a pinch runner for your DP. I don't know. I, as long as her position in the lineup doesn't change. Oh, but I see the... Can you make it? Yes, you can substitute at DP. You can substitute at flex. You can substitute for both. So Looks like maybe Ticey Walker? Uh, we'll see. Yes, it is. Ticey Walker going in as the pinch runner at first base. Pinch so runner, number 14, Ticey Walker. Not a pinch runner, substitution. Walker will stay in the game after running. It's a pinch runner because the Westbrook will It's a DP, so. Yeah, we know that that return is going to be made. That's okay. So now the umpire is getting that cleared with everybody's book. So again, Shiloh in the box, one, two count, no outs, one runner on first. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. It's an exciting ball game here. <laughs> More than exciting. <laughs> I'm going to need a nap. <sighs> I am, I, I just, yeah, I'm freaking out right now, guys. I'm telling you, I am freaking out. If we out. stumble over our words, you know why? The last time I felt like this was... Oh. Shiloh with the strikeout. So that's going to be one down. Emily Muth up to bat now with the runner at first. Now batting number five. Left fielder, Emily Moose. Hey, you've got this, kid. Just relax and feel it. Hey, you've got this, kid. Relax. Got to give my kid a little love. I rarely do that. Strike one. Strike on the outside corner. 0-1 count. One out. Runner on first. That's outside. 1-1 one, one count. 255 people. Thank you guys for joining us. This is a ball game. 1-1 one, one count to Muth. With one out, one runner on first. Did she go? Ticey is stolen base. Stolen base. Did not go. So a 2-1 count. Runner in scoring position now. Yeah, I don't think they really expected her to steal. <laughs> she looked like she was in slow motion because I was wanting her to get Two there so quickly. Right. <laughs> yeah, my brain is just... <sighs> Look at that gap, Dan. Look at that gap. Right. Emily if gets one there. Two. So 2-2 two, two count, one down, runner at second. Tied ball game here in the bottom of seven. Hey. Nobody better, kid. You got this. Relax. Sorry, got to give my kid some love. Outside, full count. Ball outside. <laughs> and I'll tell you, the last thing Wilcox wants to do right now is they don't want to walk Emily and bring line drive Logan up to bat because the next two batters will definitely punish him. So kind of a chess game going on right now. And that's going to be out of play. Foul, Foul ball. ball. <laughs> Okay, is there a defibrillator here at the field? <sighs> deep breath, Dan, deep breath. <laughs> Last time I felt like this was at the football game, state football game. With Round Valley's come from behind win, I, I was screaming like a little girl, and I guarantee you that's what's going to happen tonight. I will try not to scream in ears. <laughs> No promises. 
You guys at home might want to turn your volume down. Oh, gets her on the changeup. Muth bites on the changeup. Now with two outs, runner on second base. Line drive, Logan. Shortstop, number 21, Kayla Logan. Go, Kayla! Hey, just make contact, kids. You got this. Got to go back to old school. Two down. Runner at second. Ball Outside, five. ball one. 4-4 four, four game. Bottom of the seventh inning. This is what a semifinal game is supposed to be like. Stop it. Even though we are not liking it. Oh, I'm loving it. I just wish I knew what the outcome was going to be. <sighs> Strike one, 1-1 one, one count. One ball, one strike, two outs. Hey, here you go. Sorry, guys, I can't help but cheer. Not, oh. Foul ball. One, two count. Kayla just a little bit ahead in the count. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second. I love the people and the fans that are saying, just relax. High fly ball. It's going to drop. It's going to drop. It's going to drop. It does, and it's fair. And you ladies. And the walk off. Going on to the state championship game. And the Kayla walk off. The walk off. Kayla Logan with yeah. the fly ball to right field. Ladies and Woo. gentlemen. Kayla Logan with the fly ball to right field. Ticey Walker comes in to score. Kayla Logan with the walk off. And ladies and gentlemen, that puts Round Valley in the in state the, championship in the game state tomorrow championship. at 5:30 at ASU Stadium. And that, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, guys, I tell you what, that's why <laughs> I have called these kids, the Cardiac Kids, for the last five, no, seven years. Ladies and gentlemen, we're get, we're gonna have to pull out of here quick because there's another game moving in. Hey, listen. Sponsors, thank you. Viewers, right thank you. On, on behalf of Let's Go Elk, Zero Luck Live, I'm Dan Muth. Emily Ariola. Guys, thank you for joining. Stay tuned tomorrow. State Championship, baby. 2022. 5.30 game. See you then. To the state championship.